Here's the new laxative advance for fast relief of temporary irregularity. It seems there's been a lot of talk these days about vault life. When the neighbors drop by for a slideshow, it's fun for... Fried in fluffo. Fallout, which may occur miles and miles away from the blast. How about you? Are you ready? Despite international tensions looming overhead, Super Duper Mart stands as a beacon of normalcy, a testament to the resilience of American consumers. At vault -Tec, we're more than just America's first choice in vault technology. Breaking news reports suggest the successful liberation of Anchorage, Alaska in January, sparking fears of imminent Chinese retaliation amid escalating tensions. <laughs> Do not panic. This better be important. I, uh... <laughs> okay, what, what, uh, what's with that? What was that ghoul situation out there? What was that about? That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Keeps showing up, looking for a handout. Keenest kind aren't wanted. End of story. If I were a betting man, I'd place a stack of caps on him trying something violent soon. And that would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. But I can't spare the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and his band of misfits, or I'd gladly end this thing once and for all. Okay, uh, so nobody's really told me, but what the hell is a ghoul anyway? Uh, some kind of diseased human? You serious? You don't know what a ghoul is? A goddamn disaster waiting to happen, that's what they are. Sure, maybe you can get over the fact that they look like someone took a cheese grater to their face. But it's what you don't see that's the problem. The radiation slowly eats away their brain. Then they go zombie on you. It's better for everyone to kill them before all that, if you ask me. Well, are you sure? Have you, like, tried actually talking to the ghouls? I, I could help you. Tenpenny doesn't care how big their pile of bottle caps is. He won't let ghouls live here. Those ghouls need to give up and go bother someone else. Um, can you tell me anything about Alistair Tenpenny? I, I like listening to his radio. He owns this building. We get our caps from him, and don't <clears throat> forget it. All right, that was nothing. What's it like living here? Tenpenny is always on time with the money. And we can get fairly comfortable digs with side benefits. Well, I can maybe help you with your ghoul problem. Do you know where they're at? Really? You? You're welcome to give it a try. But don't come crying to me when you get hurt. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. Be careful. Roy seems damn close to turning zombie himself. I suppose you won't be doing this out of the kindness of your heart, hmm? Well, especially not for How's you. How's 500 bottle caps sound? Payable upon termination of that damn ghoul, Roy Phillips, oh. and all his followers. Sounds like you can spare more than that based on what you told me about Tenpenny. Well, maybe you're right. It was something I was going to have to do eventually anyway. How about another 200 caps? And here, you can take this rifle and ammo. But you better not screw this up. Roy Phillips and his gang are somewhere in Warrington Station Metro Tunnels. They've barred the main entrance. Try going through the train yard. Good to see you. Uh, hello? Oh, it's some sort of, uh... It's a medical center. Hello? What's that? Got the tech down here. What is this? Uh. We now have a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. Sounds like more. We just need to find someone with the skills and willingness to perform the surgery. Is that more? If anyone knows of a discreet and trustworthy surgeon, who knows how to keep his mouth shut, send him our way. 
Also, we need to find a circuit neuralizer to reroute the signal into the android's memory. <gasps> you know any trustworthy techies? What? So Moira did know about it. What? So does that... Does that mean that... Does that mean that that android thing is true? Oh, it's some kind of restaurant. Caf Cafe Beaumondi. Boutique Le Chic. Alright, where is everybody? What time is it? Oh, it's 9.33 p.m. Hey, is it? Hello? Where did they all go? Hey! What do you want, kid? Hey, is it okay if I, like, if I just sleep on one of these chairs for the night? I don't give a shit. Okay, thank you. Uh, oh, it's, it's kind of soft, but the back is pretty rigid, so I'm sure I'm going to be sore in the morning. Uh, oh, uh, God. That was not comfortable, dog meat. Oh, hi. Good morning. Uh, I need to sell something off real quick. Welcome to Boutique La Chic. I'm Lydia Montenegro, proprietor. Nice to meet you. I'm Gabriel. Here you'll find only the best, with a price tag you can boast about to your friends. It's a nice place. Your taste in shopping venue is impeccable. How may I assist you? Um, well, actually, are you afraid of those ghouls that are trying to get in here? If they got in here, they'd get their filth over everything. You can smell them a mile away. I hope they come back and get killed by security. Uh, what's it like living here? It seems Ten nice. Penny is a classy place. Just look at me. Look at my shop. Can't find top shelf class like that anywhere else. The tower's still structurally stable after the war, eh? Indeed. Though Ten Penny has put a lot of work into restoring it. And he's hired security to keep us safe. But they seem to be having some trouble with a pack of ghouls living in the tunnels nearby. Don't suppose you've encountered many ghouls on your travels? Uh, not really. I mean, I met one, and he's all right. He's like a slave. What? Have you lost your mind? Can I do business with you? My boutique has many unique items for the discerning customer. Are you serious? One bottle cap is all you'll give me for this? Ugh, fine. Oh, that hunting rifle is a bit better. Definitely don't need that damn thing anymore. Is there anything you can tell me about uh, Alistair Tenpenny? He stays in his penthouse suite most of the time. So long as we pay the rent, he lets us live here. Okay. Well, um, I gotta get going. Until next we meet. Have a nice day, Lydia. Who are you? Hey. Susan. Well, well, what have we here? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Susan Lancaster. Perhaps we can become better acquainted Hi, I'm in the near Gabriel. future. Uh, 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 yeah, you bet. I, I do like meeting new people. Me too. Especially rich, fine young men. Mm. Listen, you look like you can handle yourself. You survived out there in the wasteland getting here, after all. You ever have to deal with ghouls? I, uh... I mean... I... No stranger to violence, if that's what you're kind of getting at. You're exactly the kind of man we need around here. Chief Gustavo and his pack of goons aren't doing their job. Those ghouls keep coming back. Somebody's bound to get hurt sooner or later. Those ghouls sure have you guys all worked out, don't they? Are you going to do something about the problem or not? You're a bit of a loser, okay. aren't you? I gotta go. Yeah, goodbye. Okay. 
I am Comrade Cheng, <laughs> beloved leader of the people, shining servant of the community. How can I help you? Yeah, well, it's nice to meet you, I guess. Thanks, Comrade. I'm sure you'll agree the people are only as strong as their leader. That's why I do my best to serve the community to the fullest. Speaking of service to the community, I don't suppose you are familiar with ghouls, are you? More importantly, how to kill them? I formed a committee to investigate the problem. I mean, you know, it's probably going to take more than a committee to deal with it, but I That's can That's wonderful, help. comrade. Truly wonderful. Before you go ghoul hunting, talk to Gustavo. He might be able to help you. What do you think of the whole situation with the ghouls? I'm sure it will end in bloodshed. It's serious business, comrade. The fact that I'm married to the biggest idiot on the planet. My name is Tiffany Cheng. My miserable excuse for a husband is Comrade Irving Cheng. And you can tell him I said so. Um... Whatever. <laughs> is there something you want? Not really. If not, I'm busy telling my neighbors to ignore my husband and his silly committee to discuss the ghoul situation. You ever have to deal with ghouls before? Uh... I, uh... Yeah. Probably shouldn't really worry about them, but I... I wish I could. I get nightmares from time to time. What's it like living it's here? It's very clean and safe here. Well, mostly safe. They say those ghouls won't get in, but I don't know. All right, well, I gotta get going. Bye now. Okay. The Federalist Lounge? Oh, hello. Shakes. <laughs> Welcome to the Federalist Lounge. I'm Shakes. Wet your whistle. Uh. Mm -mm. I see, sir. Very well. May I pour you a drink? Is there anything you can tell me about Mr. Tenpenny? He is the right lord and master of Tenpenny Tower. I don't really know what I expected. Or at least that's what my files say. Yep. Uh, do you know anything about the ghouls that are trying to get in? Don't you worry about any such thing, sir. Care to wet your whistle? All right. Uh, I I don't Cheers. I don't drink. I gotta I gotta get, get going. Hello, good morning. Welcome to new urban apparel. I carry the finest in pre-war clothes. Hurry up, let's get you out of those old rags and into something fabulous. Uh, what, what's, the, what's wrong with the way I dress? Fine. Keep wearing that trashy outfit. I don't care. You probably couldn't afford to upgrade your look anyway. Ah, uh, I could have made you fabulous. Are you worried about those ghouls? They were told they can't live here, but those zombies are too stupid to understand. They live in their own filth, squatting in the nearby metro tunnel. Security keeps shooting them, but they keep coming back. No, well, I'll definitely go tell them there's nothing worth dying over. What are you suggesting by that? I don't think I like your tone. You insulted me as soon as I walked in here. A potential customer, nonetheless. Good day to you, sir. Come on, dog meat. I'm trying to keep an open mind here, but with what they're saying about these ghouls, it doesn't sound great. And I mean, I've, I've only really met one. And he was a slave. Yes? Hey. Wow, there's a lot of people that live here. Hey there. Hi. 
Edgar Wellington II. Have you met my wife, Millicent? Very briefly. Hold on. Who let you in here? Hey. I was let in at the front gate by Chief Gustavo. <laughs> Very well. As long as security is aware of your presence. Can't be too careful these days. What with these ghouls and all. Gustavo says he has the situation well in order, but I wonder if he's really trying. Don't suppose you ran into any ghouls on your way in here? Um... I don't... <laughs> these, these options suck. I don't really consider them a problem. I didn't really see any. Then you obviously don't know anything about ghouls. Well, can you tell me anything about ghouls? There's a pack of zombies living nearby in some old tunnel. They asked to move in, naturally. They were told to go to hell. Gustavo's hired some additional goons. Seems to be working. Still makes one a bit fidgety having those loathsome creatures around. I wouldn't even want them as slaves. Oh. Do you have slaves? Okay, well, good Thanks. luck with that. Uh, so like living here. It's the place to live, the only place one finds any modicum of civilization and breeding. Of course those ghouls are trying to move in here. Can you fancy that? Disgusting zombies living in a place like this? <laughs> really now? All right, well, I guess I'll get going. Goodbye. All right. Uh... So it's down this way somewhere. Oh, I assume it's that. Built into the mountain over there. Oh, there might be some scrap metal over here now that I'm thinking about it. What's this? Duck and cover. Oh, it is hot out here. Oh, hi. I'm sorry, I didn't realize anybody actually lived here. Hey. Blind What Willie. do you need? Do you have anything for sale? Take a look. Welcome to Godforsaken Hellhole. Not much to look at, but it's all mine. <laughs> Are you actually blind, or do people just call you that? Alright, uh... I thought this place was abandoned, but I'll, I'll get going. Uh-oh. Oh, God. That's not great. Took three rifle shots to take it down. Well, that's definitely one of those feral ghouls that they were telling me about. Ah, oh, they're hideous. They're even worse than regular ghouls. Um, I guess do we go in here? Right? Is there an entrance right here into this tunnel? that? Railway spikes. Oh, here we go. Alright, be careful, dog meat. Last time I was underground like this, there was a lot of traps on the ground. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I suck. I should've just used vats. This rifle's gonna take some getting used to. This isn't at all like the hunting rifle or my BB gun. Still missed! Uh-oh. 
Get him, dog me. Uh oh. Look out. in my mouth! Oh, oh, it's eyeball went in my mouth! Oh! Oh, God! Oh! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, I just... I just need to sit down for a second, dog. Oh, my God, that was horrible! Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, okay, I can still taste it. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> I'm gonna become addicted to Nuka Cola. God, I can just really go for some Nuka Cola right now, dog. I mean, uh, maybe one more bottle. Dog. Oh. Oh my God. There's so many of them. Oh my God. Are there more? Right, let's just close that. Oh. Uh oh. He has armor on. Oh, goodness gracious. Whew. That took a bit, but I still did it. With the help of dog meat. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Oh, this is... Quite off-putting down here. What is it? What? Revolution starts here? Well, that doesn't sound good. Hello? If you don't put your weapons away, I'll start shooting. Oh. Yeah, hey, hey, I, I, weapons down. Please don't shoot. What are you doing here? It's not safe for your kind around here. I'm here to see Roy Phillips. Oh, yeah? Is he expecting you? Well, then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. Has a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. What are you guys doing down here in the tunnels? I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. Oh. He heard about this tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. What? <laughs> Believe it or not, I used to vacation there. Um, okay, I'll get going. Live it up while it lasts. Uh, excuse me? You there. Hold it. Who the hell are you? i Gabriel. Uh, I, you got nothing to worry about. I'm harmless. Harmless? Well, you're lucky I don't stick you and take your shit. Watch yourself. We don't take kindly to strangers. Especially sweet talking ones. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> what, what are you guys doing down here in the tunnels? Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights, and we'll take them if they aren't given to us. Uh, you're... You're down and secure. Seems pretty secure in these tunnels. Why are you trying to get into Tenpenny? Ghouls aren't built for luxury and comfort, is that it? You think ghouls belong no, scurrying that... around in the dark, dank, underbelly of the wasteland? You got a lot of nerve. That's not what I... There's plenty of buildings around here that you can live in. I mean, it is 
his tower. So, like, you, there's so many other places you could go. He can do whatever he wants, man. Not sure where you come from, kid, but out here in the wasteland, everything's up for grabs. And you only get to keep what you can hold on to. Tenpenny didn't build that tower. He found it and took it from whoever used to own it. Now we're gonna take it from him. We tried playing nice, but they shot at us. Fuck them. It's time for them and their bigot ways to die. I'm leaving. I no. That's the smartest thing you've said since you met me. Oh, hello. Oh, God. I'm Bessie Lynn. I... I don't think you should be down here. Did you talk to Roy? I, I hope what? you know what you're doing. You could get in a lot of trouble by... Oh, all right, then. Kind of shy, aren't you? I don't mind that. It's nice to have someone to talk to who listens, you know? Am I babbling again? I tend to do that when I'm nervous. Why are you guys down here in the tunnels? Roy is coming up with a plan to get us into that tower. Ten pennies. Says it's only a matter of time. He's strong like that. He never gives up. The kind of guy who makes things happen, Roy is. That's why the others follow him. Me, I just like the way he looks at me. Makes me feel pretty again. I'd go anywhere with him. Bessie, I gotta tell you something. The chief of security at the Tenpenny Tower hired me to kill you guys. Please don't hurt me! I'm not... going to... kill you. Oh. I... <laughs> Sorry, I just assumed. Well, most people would prefer if we ghouls didn't exist. What's it like being a ghoul, Bessie? Oh, well, it's not so bad, I guess. Once you get used to it. But it's not like before. I used to be pretty, you know. Everyone used to come around all the time. People stop wanting to be around you, though. When it starts to happen. When you start to change, I mean. What the hell do you want? What's it like being a ghoul? I wasn't always like this. I was a goddamn scientist. We were doing great things. Amazing things. Sure, sacrifices were required. Some people got hurt. But we were making real progress. But then those goddamn bombs dropped. Karma's a real bitch. You'd be wise to remember that. What were you doing as a scientist? this go? Okay, so, like, Roy is no better than a raider, right? Like, that's what I got from those conversations. I just... It doesn't, it's just three of them, too. It doesn't really, you know, it's like, do they outweigh all those other people that are just living their lives up there? Hey, uh, Roy? What do you need? What's it like being a ghoul? You better choose your next words really carefully. Because you're starting to piss me off. I didn't mean to offend you. I'm not prejudiced. I did. I came down here to try and help you people. Sure, whatever you say. You pretentious, two-faced asshole. But you're talking about murdering all of those Chief Gustavo up there hired me to kill you. He isn't man enough to do it himself. Sends a boy to do his dirty work. Sends a boy to... You think you got what it takes? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I think I do have what it takes to kill a psychopath yeah. like you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Watch out. You can hide.
Thank you for listening to Tenpenny Tower Radio Service, brought to you by Alistair Tenpenny. And now it's time for another Tenpenny truism. Never wonder for a moment if you're worthy of the benefits you possess. Rather wonder always if you have utilized them to their fullest. You may be in the schoolyard when the signal comes. You might be out playing at home. That signal means to stop whatever you are doing and get to the nearest vault tech vault. Fast. If there is a warning, you will hear it before the bomb explodes. But sometimes, and this is very, very important, sometimes the bomb might explode without any warning. Duck and cover? That's old news. In the vault tech world, it's vault and cower for the ultimate protection. So kids, let your mommy and daddy know you'd feel a heck of a lot safer with a secured spot in a vault tech vault. Because in a world full of uncertainty, Vault Tech keeps you safe and secure. Brought to you by Vault Tech, preparing for a brighter future today.